Hey there and welcome to day 7 of the Amazon FBA 10k challenge where we, whoa that's my squeaky chair, where we take a product from $0 or we don't even know what we're going to be selling all the way up to $10,000 every single month on Amazon FBA. It's a fully 100% transparent launch so I'll show you every step that I take so you can replicate that at home. We're all on the 10k train, traveling the 10k town and we're going to have that financial freedom once we get there which should be relatively soon. This is day seven, so we've been going a week so far. We've done some really cool things to pull up our progress board. We've found our product, we're selling scratch maps. If you haven't seen day one to six, definitely go back and watch that and meet me back here because we do we find the product, we're gonna sell scratch maps, and we have improved the product or we have at least planned what we're gonna to do to improve the product. We're gonna be working with a supplier now. I'm gonna show you all around Alibaba, which is what I always use to find suppliers, connect with suppliers, especially in China, and they will help us uh, source the product. They will make it for us, manufacture it for us in the way that we want, in the way that we've wanted to improve it, which here are our innovations over here. We want it easy to scratch off, a beautiful, beautiful design. We want it big. I think it was 23 by 32 inches. We want it a little more simple and we want it very, very thick. Uh, to open this supply instructions right here, these are what we have created for the supplier. We're gonna be able to give that to the supplier and have their advice and their opinion and thoughts on it so we can see if we can source the exact product we want. I wanna get into that in just a second, but before I do, I wanna make sure you're part of the FBA uh, Facebook group. It's a private group we have. We have 469 members right now, so we're a relatively small, friendly community. We're all launching products. We're all helping each other out. You can see all the support in here. So definitely come in and join that group. And make sure you grab a copy of the Amazon FBA 2018 Masterclass, which is an 11 and a half hour walkthrough. Everything I've learned, everything that I know about Amazon is in this course. And I've launched over 12 products, 12 successful products on Amazon. Evan has launched over eight products on Amazon. He's gonna teach you module four, which is this find a trusted supplier to private label your product idea. I, all of it, everything you need to know, all your questions are answered inside this course. You can see there's over uh, 10 or 11 lectures inside this specific module. They've got templates for you, terminology, everything that you need to know to be sure uh, in what you're doing. I wanna welcome to the course, Jonathan Beamer. Miles O'Berry, Jordan Hamilton, and Adam Mansour. Uh, welcome to the Freedom family inside the course. Congratulations on taking action. The last thing I wanna do is check in on our expense sheet. This is where we keep all our expenses in this transparent launch. So you can see we've bought the Jungle Scout softwares in phase one. We've got a graphic designer fee in phase two for creating that uh, little sheet that we're gonna send to our supplier and also our logo. We're gonna have a couple more uh, graphic design fees in this phase, even though we've closed out the phase technically. We need to be going back and forth with the supplier to be knowing what dimensions they need, to know what colors they need. They need to have the exact template of what we wanna print on the map because we will be customizing our map. We don't want just a, a stock standard one that everybody else is selling. So we'll be going back and forward through that. I'll be adding more fees here. But basically remember these are investments and they're not expenses. They're investments in the future. They're investments in the $4,000 a month. We've spent 166 total. I know my camera's normally blocking that, but there's 166 in there. So I'll keep you updated on that. So today is day seven and inside this day, what I'm gonna teach you is how to use Alibaba. Uh, what are the function of Alibaba? How do we know if we have trustworthy suppliers and how to connect to these suppliers in the most efficient way? It's gonna be really, really helpful. So let's jump in. Don't miss out on this. We are giving away an Amazon product idea that I personally found that will make you over $5,000 every month, $1,000 of PayPal cash to buy your stock and a fast track Amazon FBA coaching session to ensure that you launch your product perfectly. To win, all you need to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications and comment below why you want to start an Amazon FBA business. Enter now, then let's jump into this video. Awesome, so before we do jump into sourcing our product, what I really wanted to go through, because at this phase, I feel like this is the phase where a lot of people will be dropping off and maybe will stop watching because they haven't actually taken action alongside. And they're basically, if you're not taking action as you're watching, it's because you don't have 110% competence 
or confidence in this process. There is one other factor, factor number four, which I'll go through, and that is an acceptable reason not to be taking action right now. But basically, I wanna go through the four things that you need to have 110% competence and confidence in this process, in yourself and in your Amazon journey. Because with these four things, you will have the same mindset and the same skill level as I have, and you'll be able to launch uh, as many products as you want confidently and get that financial freedom and that independence that you deserve and you'll be able to quit your job, uh, leave school, travel the world, whatever it is that is your personal goal. These are the four things, the recipe that you need to achieve it. So number one is you're in the right place. You're watching the live Amazon launch, which is the 10K challenge that we're all doing together right now. So that's the first thing you need. That will show you basically how easy it is. The second thing you need is the right mindset. So basically, a lot of people are really, really scared of selling on Amazon and they think they won't be successful and they're bound to do badly from day one with that mindset. You need two mindsets uh, with Amazon FBA. One, you need confidence in yourself or at least confidence in the process. You see someone's done it before you and you copy them step by step, you're gonna get the same results. So you need to have that confidence to be able to take that leap and if you don't take that leap, no one's gonna take it for you. So you'll be stuck in your current situation. The other mindset you need to have is you need a growth mindset or a student's mindset. You need to view your first product not as a once and for all rescue me from my uh, financial situation or, or even if you're doing well already and you, you're looking to launch this product and you think it's going to be a million dollar product. It might not be, but what it is and what it can be, it can be a million dollar product and for a lot of people it is. But what it is, is it's a lesson, it's a learning curve, and it's a skill that you're building. If you can learn e-commerce and you can learn how to launch Amazon products or eBay products, um, I'll stick with Amazon in this example. If you can learn how to launch an Amazon product to $10,000 a month like we're doing right here, that is a skill that you can replicate over and over and over again. You can uh, create endless amounts of money for yourself. So even if it takes you two failed products, and you can hit it on the third one. You can learn that skill on that third product. It's going to be very, very beneficial because then you can hit it on the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. It's a, it's a very straightforward recipe, and it's not, a, it's not a, it's not something that's lucky if you hit a good product. It's because you didn't do something right. There's a recipe to follow, and once you know the recipe, you can do it every single time. So that's the mind, two mindsets you need to have. The third thing you need is the Amazon FBA Masterclass. Or if it's not the Masterclass, you need someone else to teach you the exact steps you need to take it every step of the way because then you will be able to have that confidence and that competence in yourself. Our Masterclass is 11 and a half hours. It's everything that I've ever learned and everything that I ever used to launch all 12 of my products successfully on Amazon. So if you don't have that, definitely get that. Or if you have another course, use their course step by step in order to get the results that you want. The fourth thing, and this is the only legitimate reason why you shouldn't be taking action right now, and that is money. If you have less than $500, you don't necessarily need to be launching right now, but you could be saving up to $1,000, or you could be saving up to $500. The best budget to have, I would recommend, is between two to five, or 2,000 to endless amounts of money. You can definitely, definitely make money with less than that. You can make money with $500, you can make money with $200. I would look into doing some retail arbitrage uh, to learn Amazon, because you can do retail arbitrage on Amazon. I'd type it into YouTube if you want to do, learn more about that. That can give you a little bit more money before you get into private labeling, which is what we're doing here, making a product our own. But basically, if you have at least $1,000, you are set and you, don't, you cannot use this as an excuse. You just need to take action. Using that $1,000, you can definitely make a lot of money there. If you have less than a thousand or less than 500 check out retail arbitrage on amazon and you can flip some products say go down to walmart buy them cheap there sell them on amazon make 10 20 30 dollars an item and then build your way up to up to a thousand dollars and then you can start private labeling from there so these are the four keys that you need to start on amazon to start having confidence and competence in yourself and being sure in the process of Amazon. So make sure you've got yourself four of these things and you'll do really, really well. So coming over to Alibaba now. So this is basically gonna be a walkthrough of Alibaba because it can be a little bit confusing and we are needing to source our scratch map. So to pull up that Photoshop file, 
This is the one that my graphic designer has uh, made for us. And it's a really nice, clear layout. Remember, we've numbered it so that the supplier can see in order what they need to address and what they can't address. They can reply very, very easily on an email with that. So we need to get that to a supplier. So what are you looking for? It's very, very easy to come in here, type in whatever your keyword is, a so scratch map. I just want to apologize for the lighting. I'm actually moving uh, house. I'm going back to Melbourne in Australia for Christmas. We'll be back in the Philippines post Christmas. Uh, but uh, we've taken down the Christmas tree you can see and I put my lights in storage for when I get back. So I'm actually don't have any lights on my face right now. So I apologize for that. So we can see we've pulled up the scratch maps here and we can start looking at prices here and we can start looking at minimum order quantities because our budget for this project is $4,000, $1,000 or 4000 but I'm pretty sure I'll be using the upper end of it uh, just because it will make more money in the long term. Uh, for, so $4 minimum, minimum order, 100 pieces, so that would be $400 for 100 pieces plus shipping. I'm definitely gonna get them uh, air shipped and the reason why I'm gonna get them air shipped, I'll just do it really quickly over here, is I will make more money if I ship them by air over five days than if I ship them by sea over 30 days. For example, if we're doing uh, $10,000 of revenue a month, oh, equals this divided by 30, which means we are doing $333 of revenue. Where's that dollar sign to make it clear? $333 worth of revenue a day at a 40% profit rate. is $133 of profit every single day. So for every day, for, for example, if air shipping is uh, $1,000, I'm just guessing, it'll probably be about $1,000 for uh, a few hundred pieces, and sea shipping is $300, it means there's a $700 difference. So we are spending an extra $700, but there's also a 25 day difference in delivery time, which how much money is that? I'm sorry, this is not in any logical order. I'm just trying to get my thoughts out there. It goes this times 25. We're losing $3,000 in profit. Uh, and that's, we're losing more in revenue. But we're losing $3,333 in profit because we are not uh, choosing air shipping. So this is why it goes this, take away this. We are $2,600 better off using air shipping. We also don't have to pay, pay for freight forwarders. Uh, customs is all done for us. That's why I like air shipping. If your product is really big and heavy, maybe do sea shipping um, or maybe do some air shipping, do 100 units air shipping, get them there and in stock and then do the rest sea shipping. But for this uh, scratch map, they're very light. They take up a little bit of space, but I will be doing air shipping, which will be more expensive up front, but we'll be making more money uh, quicker. So you can see that even down to $3, down to $5, ours are gonna be more uh, a higher price than this because we will be getting them custom made. We'll be doing our own custom design. I wanna put accessories in there. I wanna be, I get laminate. So I'm gonna be budgeting around five to $7 for our maps, which we go back to our little, little sheet. So if it's unit cost, this is just an estimation. Uh, I'll go $7, uh, I'll go $6. So it's just really rough. Equals $4,000 divided by six. So we're able to get 600 units for $4,000, but this is a mistake lots of people make. They spend all their budget on the product and they have no budget left over for launching our product. And it's really, really important to have money here because we need to be doing ads, we need to be doing some giveaways, we need to be doing all sorts of stuff that will take a little bit of money and a little bit of time if you don't have money. And we need a budget for that. So I highly recommend keeping a, probably a quarter of your budget, uh, unless you got a really, really big budget. I think we'll probably use about $1,000 on marketing and we'll probably spend $3,000 in the product. So if we're spending $3,000, we'll get about 
500 units, some clean math. So we'll be looking to source 500 units up front. Again, have confidence in your product. If you do have a bigger budget, you can definitely get this up to 1,000 units and spend more than this because what's going to happen is we're going to be running our stock really quick because we only have 500 units and we're going to have to get them to manufacture it again uh, as soon as possible. So I, I'm not sure how long the manufacturing time is here, but we want to get it as quickly as possible. If we get it down to a week, it'd be amazing. 10 days would be incredible. Uh, but we don't want to choose someone that's going to take 30 days to manufacture because of the similar things I was telling you uh, about the sea shipping. It's going to come out of our pocket uh, as we're waiting for them to manufacture, as we're selling out of stock. So um, what I'm doing is that you can, I guess the, the reason why I'm showing you all these listings is because there are so many suppliers. And I want you to realize don't feel a scarcity around a single supplier. And if he's not giving you exactly what you want, Make sure you're messaging at least five, six, seven suppliers at a time who you think can get you the product you need and don't depend on one supplier. So look at all these. I'm going to go, that's just the first page. So if I skip page two, three and go to page four, you can see they're still here. It's different suppliers, different factories who can produce this map for you. So uh, we may be running out now. Yeah, I think we probably ran out of scratch maps now. There's one. But you can see there's there's three pages. There's there's hundreds of maybe a hundred uh, different suppliers who can produce this sort of thing for you. And no matter what you're selling, there's going to be a lot more than one person that can produce it uh, for you. So don't feel a scarcity around suppliers. You have to message as many as possible. That's the that's the trick here. And you want as many as possible to message you. So. What's the best way to get in touch with all these suppliers at once in order to have them bidding for your product, to bidding to create your product? You want to do what's called a one request multiple quotes. I don't think that's what it's called. It used to be called something different, but you can see there's a link up here that says one request, one request multiple quotes up there. So they've actually changed it a little bit, but it's going to be really easy. RFQ, that's what it's called. Uh, so basically, you're going to submit exactly what you want, which is why we have this drawn up right here. And then uh, the, all the suppliers who think they can make that for you is, are going to be bidding on that. So you're going to put keywords in there so that the suppliers will be searching those keywords for um, RFQ by requests. I think they'll call, <laughs> I think I'm a little bit confused because I've renamed this, but I think it's, yeah, I think it was definitely called a buyer request. Uh, they call it RFQ now. And um, what they do is the suppliers will be searching these keywords such as scratch map. They're looking for anyone who's submitted an RFQ now for scratch maps. And then they'll be bidding on it and telling them about uh, telling the person who submitted this about their factory, about how good they are, if they can offer the right quantity and the right color. And basically, it's going to be really easy to get everyone bidding against each other. So uh, once you get them, then they say you step three, you can contact your suppliers. Uh, value added service. I did actually do this one time. You can pay a little bit extra. It's not too much and you can get uh, quick responses. I think we actually might do that for this one and you can get extra quotes, which they will just advertise your post further. Again, we might do that. We'll just double check the price before we do. So I'm going to submit this to with you tomorrow because there's something I want to go over with you today that's very important. And then we can submit this RFQ tomorrow together and I'll show you how I actually don't like to communicate with them on on Alibaba because it's a really weird setup with the messages. I don't like to do it on email because it's really slow. I actually like to get them on a, another platform, which I'll teach you uh, what that is tomorrow. Right now, what I wanted to show you, tell you, is I sort of wanted to go over the the mindset of when you buy your product. It doesn't have to be the picture perfect finished product that you want to sell on Amazon. So if we go over to Amazon now, type in our scratch map keyword, and then we could type that brand name if we wanted to. Where's one deer here? So one deer, again, I'm not uh, ripping off one deer. I'm not copying one deer. I think it's the best scratch map out there right now. So I'm using its quality and its standard as an inspiration for what we want to produce. This is the one deer scratch map that is, I think, the highest quality one out there through my research, it's laminated, it's really big, it's got great reviews. It's priced at $55, which most of them are actually priced around 30. And uh, we'll be deciding on price point together as soon as we're in stock, and we'll see how fast we're selling. We might have to bump our price up to slow down sales. So what I wanted to point out here is this is a really cool finished map with a ton of accessories. 
uh, it looks really cool. The map's really shiny. It's got laminated. It's got everything that we've put in here. Plus, we've put a bit of, of extra stuff. We've got white tissue paper. Uh, we've got some extra accessories to them as well. We've got a different design. But what I want to tell you, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say here is the supplier doesn't have to see this. Okay, those six things you want in the map, send, send me the design. Uh, they'll be asking for the, the map design. Send them the design and we'll make that. We'll get everything done perfectly and we'll ship it out to you. It's never going to happen like that. It's going to be a lot of cultural uh, barriers. There's going to be a lot of language barriers. What it's going to be basically is going to be a back and forth, back and forth tennis match based on single aspects of your product. So I'll probably have three emails about the GSM. I'll probably have three emails about the lamination, a ton of uh, talks about what type of tissue paper and then rolled up together, they'll probably be a little bit confused on that. They ask really, really specific and really um, almost irrelevant questions, at least in my perspective, about exactly what it is you want. And you need to have answers because if you don't have answers, they're going to be even more confused than you and they're not going to be able to produce your product. Uh, but you don't have to have the, the right answers. I think there are no right answers. It's basically, it's your product. You get to decide on every single aspect of it. So what the process will look like instead of you emailing this once is it will be a back and forward. And like I said yesterday, you don't have to have a finished perfect product. You need to have a product that's sellable that you like to ship that into Amazon as the first order as 500, uh, 500 of them into Amazon and start selling those. Start, start moving them. They can't be terrible, but as long as they're not as long as you're not waiting for the perfect supplier to reach out about the exact uh, requirements that they can fulfill for you and they can get into Amazon in a day, it's not going to happen. It's, this is the roughest process out of everything. Everything else is pretty standard and easy to follow, but there's so many variables in here with specific suppliers, specific products, specific specifications, is you need to basically buckle down or buckle up and just ride this turbulence out. Um, it's like it's a word of warning because you will feel a lot of resistance, especially if you're trying to innovate on a product, especially if you're trying to change something, uh, changing packaging, changing logos. You're going to feel uh, maybe a little bit overwhelmed at times, but basically you want to buckle up and just keep answering their questions one by one by one, back and forth. Think of it like, like a tennis match, but every time you hit the ball back, it's a little bit nice and it's a little bit closer to what you want. That's the mindset we need. Tomorrow... We're going to submit, I'll be in Melbourne when I shoot that video, actually, uh, I'll show you around my house. And uh, we'll be submitting a buyer request. I'm going to show you how to get them off of Alibaba so you can teach, uh, you can talk to them much more efficiently. I'm going to give you a template to use on your uh, one request, RFQ, now that they, now they call it. And we're going to reach out and find that supplier or find 100 suppliers to message and see which one wants our business the most. So that's tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in for day seven. I'll see you on day eight.